What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video and we have another requested video. Now with this one, I'm torn, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little torn. Now this is a diss track to Dax by Screwface John um, and it has to do with some business interaction that went awry. Um, a lot of the responsibility pretty much falls on Dax in um, just in regards to the way that it was orchestrated, the way that it was handled, how it went down. Like it was some crazy, iffy type stuff that went on. Um, so by now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already seen uh, Screwface John's uh, information on basically what went down or what exactly happened, but it was some shady business that was going on on Dax side. Now I've seen a lot of people that have flip flopped and said, hey, I don't mess with your boy, I used to be. Um, I still think Dax has dope lyrics. I still think that he's an amazing lyricist and that he brings about great energy. Um, he just, maybe on the business side, he's not as business savvy and not as good at it. Um, again, guys, remember he's young. He's not a business guru. Like he didn't learn this stuff. It's not to make excuses for him at all because right is right and wrong is wrong. Um, but I don't expect greatness in that area from a person who's never been there. Um, basically a person going based off of his own experiences and issues. Like you like to think that everybody's gonna give you a fair shake, but that's not what happens typically it's, it's especially in the music world. And Screwface knows this firsthand. He's been rapping for a while, so he knows, you know, um, the ins and out. All I will say in regards to Dax, you could have at least gave the man some money back. That's all I'm saying. For whatever he paid, whatever the expectation that was talked about between the two of you guys, you could have refund him something. That's all I'm gonna say. But Screwface decided to do a diss track, so we're gonna get into that. Um, and I'm going to, you know, give you my opinion on the diss track, but I wanted to go ahead and address all of the other stuff, sidebar stuff prior to the video, but we can get into the video now. Hopefully it's lit. We won't know until the end of the video whether it is or not. And if you're new to the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I do my reaction. And without further ado, let's get into this video. YouTube route is good. I don't want to be a YouTuber, but I can use my skills to make songs and diss tracks on some of these guys to where the songs still sound like actual songs, but they're diss tracks at the same time. As soon as that shit shut down, I was like, ah. Tragic. That's what I'm saying. In goddamn 2019, we're turning the word clout chase hey, into a positive term. He got your card. Screwface got your card, bro. Just saying. What? Dang. <sighs> the hit Brainiac. <laughs> Drink some good water right now, man. I'm in the mouth for right now. I'm gonna say it slow so I can hear it fast. They love me for my energy. Let me tone it down, man. So I can really feel it, though. <laughs> love. It's screw face in the place and I'm about to handle ya Heard that you a hooper, well these shots about to damage ya But this ain't no suicide drill to check your stamina I'm ill, this suicide for real for any challenge And now low key, it's looking like Eminem versus cannabis The shady's going crazy on the janitor from Canada Just manna ya, my niggas will handle ya Ain't no man in ya, like how you manage to hold the microphone with a manicure You true loser, all the YouTubers, they should banish ya You still be clickbaiting bad baby if they weren't fans of ya Told Adam 22, he ain't no YouTube nigga So point at him with 22s and shoot like YouTube Nigga, you doo doo nigga, let's talk about that four horsemen shit. How you did a verse, heard ours, and re recorded your shit. Cause you laid your verse first, but it was whack as a bitch. Then on your second attempt, you try to throw out a diss. Three niggas in a goat, please get off of that shit. It was three niggas spitting and one nigga rapping about his dick. And the reason you ain't pushing sounding like a funny story, cause you ain't agree with it, but still took the money for it. Where I'm from, you can get jumped, niggas getting bunny for it. With my bees in the trap, you catching a honey for it. That's a drum bitch, dumb bitch, leave him in the dirt. That's basically how this. Do sounds on every single verse, beep. It's Dax. I was a motherfucking janitor, and I don't know the shit because I was a motherfucking janitor. And you don't even get it. I was a motherfucking janitor. 
And did I mention that oh, I was a motherfucking Lord, janitor? We get it, but it's pathetic. By this time, you should quit. You chuckle at your fake struggle every time that you spit. Now, I ain't saying that you lying and shit, but you so fake, dude. You have to push that story. There's nothing else we relate to. You don't even stick to your word so people make you. How you shitting on YouTube? These people made you. You start throwing strikes at smaller channels like Dwayne, dude. I hope the community you forsaken now breaks you. Most reactors think your verse is whack. They're just afraid to say truth to being fake like you. Just made do things for their career. But if they really hear the shit you really say, you True. really wouldn't be here. You're a reaction channel, too. Cocky as fuck. How you the janitor? But I'm the one that's mopping you up. Nigga, keep lifting buckets till you stocky as fuck. You fake hoe. Ain't no Drano when I'm blocking you up. Got a verse from this nigga. Even paid for some things. But he never pushed the audio. The niggas are lame. I complain. Like, why you do that shit? The nigga was saying he was sorry. Pay for a video. He'll push it the same. He seemed real, so I trusted him. And hopped on a plane. From the crew, cop some room. All the shit I was paying Should've known that this dude was a lame He pulled up like a dame Should've pulled things and pulled off with his chains <laughs> But they probably leave my fucking neck stain oh, I, already did, man. I wish you success probably on your did. next thing No really, I wish you the best, man So you don't have to keep on scamming for checks, man <laughs> She cheated on you once, I'm like, oh well She cheated on you twice, you a host still but you can't really blame her, let's be so real She want a man, not a nigga to paint his toenails We Niger boys, I was trying to be good Let me calm down, please, someone find me a word Nigga think he Machiavelli, like he trying to be her Niggas think they pop till the cop riding with shook R.I.P. Little boy, this was just a little love tap Fuck that, now I'm punching where his lungs at And we should send him right back where he from, Jack Can't we just deport him and fucking get 21 back? <laughs> can we do that? Can, can we do that? Cause I'm not looking at that. Screw, screw. We got 21 back, bro. All right, we're gonna stop it right there, man. Um, but yeah, let's get into this, man. Screwface John. Um, this track was I'm not Dax, Jorner, or Don Q. Definitely was lit, man. Um, he definitely had bars, and he definitely did go ham in regards to Dax. Um, it's very true. Dax always in his song somewhere puts that he is a janitor, um, and apparently he has a message as to why he derives that in every diff every track, but that was a good one. Um, also, really good bar was that Machiavelli with the Shug in the car. Damn! Like, that was a really good bar, bruh. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, but what's really good about it is the fact that you highlight that because that is pretty much Dax um, motivation is to be viewed or to be seen as Tupac was having that influence having you know that appeal and that allure um, now I honestly don't feel like screw really wanted to do this um, I did watch some of his uh, vids in regards to like basically what happened between him and Dax and you know he did it for the culture he did it because people were like yo you gotta diss him like you gotta do something um, so he definitely did that man and this track was definitely heat it was definitely fire um, and he met him where, you know, unlike Tory Lanez, he met him in a platform to where it hits, you know, both of them being rappers, he went for the jugglers. So definitely salute to Screwface, man. This was definitely hot, definitely dope. Um, now, I've seen so many mixed reviews, like I said in the beginning of the vid, so many people that have flip-flopped. Um, I, I watched Afro Kicks switch out on him. Like, um, now I have to address this verse where he talked about um, reactors um, saying that Dax, like, Dax does have a great flow style. He brings a lot of energy. He can switch up his flow style. We can't take his rapping aspect away. Like, the dude does do what he does on the track. Now, with that being said, it was highlighted that there were a couple songs where he kind of duplicated his flow style and didn't really give much effort. But there are so many other songs where he did actually show that he's talented. Um, it just kind of sucks that after the situation that happened between Dax and Tori and where he was getting the publicity that also um, at the same time this situation happens so it kind of cancels out you know that positive push that you had which kind of goes to show man like keep your hands clean at all times you never know when it's your time to blow and the worst thing that can happen is your time comes and you're not ready because 
you looking dirty in these streets. And that's exactly what happened. It just looked bad on Dax's end in regards to uh, what transpired between the two of them that could have been easily remedied either by him giving back some of the, the funds that he uh, took in regards to him promoting certain tracks or him just you know sincerely apologizing now i know dax did speak to it i'm gonna put that up so that you guys can see um what his response was in regards to you know this situation it wasn't touched directly but it was kind of implied that this is what he was talking about um but i mean it could have easily been hashed behind closed doors but because he was reluctant to do it it came to the main screen so now you have people that don't really want to mess with you because it's like okay on the one hand you're pushing a positive mantra but on the other hand you're doing dirt behind closed doors and like yeah i don't really know where you lie like it feels like you're lying to us it feels like you're not being truthful and honest um for me i mean i'm not i'm not hooked on dax in regards to um personality it was all about the music and he still does music that's that's the long and short for me. I mess with Screwface because he does music and this track was he. That's all I'm saying. Um, but that's my thoughts. You know, everybody's gonna be different in the way that they approach this and what they think. But those are just my thoughts. Um, but you guys have to let me know what did you think um, in regards to this disc? Was this was this heat for you? Was it fire for you? Uh, did this situation change your vantage point on Dax? Like, I want to hear from you guys, and we can hash it up in the comments uh, below. But anyways, guys, we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video is coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.